Hello, I'm Philip Rice with my latest song for the day and this week I'm up to the letter C. Back in the 1960s when I was a teenager, the pop music scene was enlivened by numerous uh, popular beat combos uh, or pop groups, most of whom seemed to come from Liverpool. The Beatles were perhaps the most famous, but there was Jerry and the Pacemakers, the Searchers, the Foremost, the Swinging Blue Jeans, the Mersey Beats, and many, many more. Imagine our excitement then when a four-piece group called the Liverpool Raiders pitched up at our church one weekend. A Christian pop group. This was something totally new. To the best of my knowledge at that time, Christian music had always been played on organs or pianos. Yet here was a real pop group with guitars and drums playing Christian music. It was a revelation and probably a turning point in the way I thought about church. Suddenly we could praise and honour God without having to have a very serious face. We could move about, sway in time with the music, clap our hands and actually enjoy worship. As far as I can remember, the most, uh, uh, they mostly played various hymns, uh, but with a bit of swing to them and often used Geoffrey Beaumont tunes, which became quite popular in the 1960s. We still want to sing one or two of them today, like Oh Jesus I Have Promised. The song I remember particularly from that weekend was the one I'm going to play now. The words of music are credited to Brother, An uh, Brother William, about whom I have found no information whatsoever. There's reference to an arrangement of the music by a group called The Venturers, who were apparently formed at Spurgeon's College, a Baptist training college in London, in the late 1950s. Perhaps Brother William was one of their number, or perhaps another student at the college. I really don't know. But I love this particular song, uh, and as we approach the season of Jesus' Passion, I think these words are particularly appropriate. Can it be true? By Brother William. <laughs> 